Okay, so welcome to how to make custom firmware for PS3. It's only for jailbroken PS3s. Obviously, if you're watching this, you should already know that. Um, I'm basically going to show you how to make a standard CEX custom firmware, which is going to have all the standard patches that you would put into an into an official firmware to turn it into a standard custom firmware. The series is going to be probably about five or six episodes long. Dependent on the feedback that I get after that, I may show you how to edit the files to change the look of the firmware. So, show you how to change the cold boot, how to edit all the, the symbols and words and stuff on the XMB. And then, if I have good response for that, I'll probably show you how to uh, add Cobra payload into the firmware. Or maybe even show you how to add Mamba payload as well. I quite like the Mamba payload. Anyway and dependent on how well the series goes i'm hoping that you know if it takes off and more people want to learn then i'm also going to start to do how to update certain packages so things like iris man rebook toolbox webman stuff like that i'm going to show you how to basically report all your packages and stuff for the newer versions of firmware and i know that I've, there's probably information all over the internet about how to do it in drips and drabs but there's nowhere that I've found when looking about that shows you how to do it um, all in one place so that's what I'm hoping to do with this uh, tutorial series so the first five six episodes is going to be how to make a standard CEX custom firmware so this is part one and it's called what files do we patch I'm going to give you a little bit of info about the setup and I'm going to show you what files to patch and we're going to extract the files that we need and then we'll move on to part two which is actually patching. So first off in the description of the video there's going to be a link to this making custom firmware folder. It's going to be in a raw file so you're going to want to unzip it and make sure you get it down to this making custom firmware folder with all the folders inside. Put this on your desktop come to the very bottom and there's a readme text document it's got a little bit of info a little bit of info about what's in the folders a little bit of info about additional things you'll need for ps3 development they're not included in the download i might put download links uh, for a couple of things in the description of the video anything else there's some info on how to find it so this is the important part is how to set up before following the tutorial so what you're going to want to do is, if you haven't done this, pause the video or stop the video, go back, um, get this folder onto your desktop and follow this readme text document. Now you need to install all these f um, programs. Not, not so much Photoshop, you can skip Photoshop for now, but ideally if, if the, the, the tutorial series does take off and more people want some follow-up videos on how to edit the actual firmware, then you will need all these installed so you might as well just do it now it saves saves time in the long run uh, some info on additional things to install some places to look for info and some credit and thanks so first thing you want to want to do once you've got this making custom firmware folder open you're going to want to make a folder and you're going to want to call it my, my cfw 4.80 now the one thing I've got to stress is when you're doing stuff like this you do need to be very organised. I know my desktop looks a bit like a mess but you know, I've been, been on quite a few projects lately. So you, you do need to be very organised because if you do mess up and you do get files confused and you're not sure um, and you end up installing the firmware it can hard brick your PS3. So just make sure that you're organised with it. Okay let's make a new folder and we want to call this OFW 4.80 and this is where we're going to put the actual file. <coughs> excuse me the actual update file you want to make a new folder called OFW files and this is where we're going to put the files that we take out the official firmware before we mod them and then make another folder called CFW files and inside OFW files you want to make another folder uh, called CoreOS and you want to make another folder called VSH. So basically the files are split into two categories. They are the VSH that we're going to mod and the core OS. Uh, and also in custom firmware files you're going to want to add them as well. So I'll just copy these two over. So in CFW files and in OFW files you've got two subfolders core OS and VSH. 
Right, so if you come into the making custom firmware folder, inside the 4.80 OFW PUP folder is the actual 4.80 update. Now, what you want to do is you want to copy this into the uh, OFW 4.80 folder so that we've got a copy. Ideally, everything you, everything you, you want to do is copy. Um, so now what we're going to do is we're going to extract the actual files that we need to mod. So first we want to, uh, you should have already installed PUAD which will be in the setup in the readme text. So PUAD will be like this little grey square box. You might want to turn the music off or um, adjust the settings. You can do that up here if you go to boot options it will let you adjust the settings. See I've got the uh, the music turned off. It's a little bit annoying. You can put your own music in there if you want, but um, I'll keep resetting my PS, uh, my PC so much that I don't bother anymore. Okay, so you've got two options. You've got Unpacker and Repacker. It does exactly what it says on the tin. The Repacker will let you unpack it, edit the, edit the files, and then or, or add new files, and then it will repack it for you. Or you've got the Unpacker, which will just unpack it. So if you come and click on these three dots here next to the Put File option, it, it, it might put you anywhere, I don't know where it will put you, but um, basically what you want to do is you want to navigate to the um, OFW 4.80 folder and then you want to double click on the updat.pub. Now, then it will ask you where you want to unpack that file to, so it will land you in the same folder, so if you just click on select folder it will unpack it to the same place. So if you click on dev flash and core os that'll unpack the dev flash and the core os so we can get the files out uh, if you want to make no blu-ray firmware or no bluetooth firmware that updates on a ps3 without installing that firmware um, you can uh, you can unpack the upl you can also change the version as well for installation so it'll install it from the xmb and stuff uh, if it's the same version um, but i'll show you how to do that a little bit later when i actually edit the game xml uh, so click on start and that will start to unpack and what it will do is is it will start to unpack the actual update file so this is the ps3 update.pup this is the uh, update file when you update your ps3 the ps3 basically installs this file so this is all it will unpack everything that's inside that file so as you can see it says task completed so it's unpacked it you've got the license xml at the root of the pup which will be the message that comes up on installation so the terms and conditions and you have the version text which is the version that will pop up at XMB when you actually uh, click on the update and it will tell you the version so for example like I'll change mine to like 4.80 overflow v1 or um, v2 or v3 or whatever it be um, or you can just add 4.80 custom firmware you need to leave the 4.80 at the beginning because if you um, if you put the 4.80 afterwards, so if you have it set up like that, it won't update when system update debugs on. So you need to make sure that you um, that you keep it with the uh, number the numbers at the beginning, basically, so that system update debug can read it. Okay, so you can close down PUAD now because we've already got that okay so open up your official firmware files folder so this is where we're going to put our official firmware files so if you come into update files as you can see we've got the core OS and the dev flash so they're the two parts of the pup the two main parts so first we're going to extract the core OS so as I said before you do need to mod the level 2 in order to make a custom firmware that will play games from backup but due to legality reasons, I'm not going to show you how to do that. If you do want to discuss about that, you can always drop me a message. Please don't leave a, a comment on the video about it. Um, you can contact me on Facebook, Portal Centric, NGU, or you can email me, uh, and I'll discuss that with you further. So basically, you want the level 0, the level 1 self, the SPP verifier.self, the SPU package RVK verifier.self, and the SPU token processor. Um, basically with the core OS we basically just disable checks that's that's in essence what you do with the core OS because there are a lot of checks um, and if your key signatures are not correct then your pup won't pass the, the check and it won't the PlayStation won't let it install so basically these are the core OS files we're going to mod 
so once you've selected all of those if you hold control and click on each one it will let you select multiple ones uh, we'll copy those over into the core os folder okay so now we've got these five uh, normally you'd have six because you'd have the level two as well but for purposes of this tutorial we're not going to be doing that okay so then you want to open up the dev flash the vsh and the module and from here you're going to want to take the basic plugins dot sprx you're going to want to take the explore category game dot sprx the explore plugin dot sprx uh, the nas plugin dot sprx and the vsh dot self so once you highlighted those copy those over and so now you've got the um, the five uh, VSH module files that you need to mod in order to make custom firmware so this is the <coughs> excuse me this is the last file now that we're going to do um, basically to add the install packages you need to mod the explore category game XML so the X the XMB on the PS3 is made up of a structure of XML files so if you go into update files dev flash VSH resource explore XMB so as you can see these are the XMLs for all the different categories now the way it works is this is just the standard for the photo category that's the standard for the XML the, these shop XMLs that's if you're on um, shop firmware which is uh, like display purposes firmware and tool 2 is the DEX version so say for example if you've got a CEX VSH then you'll be using the category game XML and if you've got a DEX VSH it will be using the category game tool 2 XML so basically we're going to copy this category game XML uh, just copy that to the root of the OFW files okay so you can close down the uh, the OFW 480 folder okay so as you can see we've got the category game XML we've got the VSH module files and we've got the core OS so in the next part of the video I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you how to actually mod those files.